Hey guys, so I'm on day seven of OptiFast, which is the pre-op um, diet. It consists of four shakes a day, which is I'm taking two vanilla and two chocolate. Uh, as I said on my previous um, video, I do not like vanilla. So I've actually started putting a little bit of crystal light raspberry in it. So it makes it like a strawberry milk, which has been okay. Now, I can't say that it's been easy because it has not been easy. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. When you're on a diet like normal people would do, you know, when you're on a low carb diet or high protein diet, um, you do have guidelines to follow and you're supposed to, you know, follow them, make sure you're eating properly. But you're eating real food. You have something tasty. You look forward to something good. And then, yeah, you have your cravings for your chocolate or whatever your cravings are. But you still have real food. What I'm having a hard time with is I'm not having real food. My two cups of greens a day, I've been able to do it, but now I'm getting sick of just lemon juice on my salad. Um, cucumbers and celery, I'm just eating it like that all day. I'm getting sick of it. Jello as well. Jello's okay. I've been switching it up of tastes. I've been like putting key lime with raspberry so that it would, you know, taste good. Now, it has been the long weekend of July just passed, so it was Canada Day two days ago. This was probably the hardest uh, of the days was over the weekend because you're out at camp, you're socializing with friends, it's hot, everybody's drinking cold beer, everybody's eating chips and popsicles and chocolate and snacks and the kids are like, Mom, buy some chips, Mom, buy this, we're going to camp. And, you know, I did buy a little bit for them, not as much as I would before because then I'm going to want to eat it, and I didn't. I've been pretty good, but it has been hard. Mostly in this heat, we're in a heat wave right now where we're having like 40 degrees with humid X, 42 degrees with humid X. That is Celsius for my American people watching. Um, I wanted to burst out crying the other day. On Saturday, I had an episode with my oldest in the morning. We were on our way out to camp, and I just sat there and I said, screw this, we're not freaking going. I cried. I am just emotional. I'm irritated. I have headaches. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Um, I would say I'm not hungry all the time. I'm hungry when it's, you know, your usual times to eat meals. Now my shakes do help with that hunger, but it's when I'm cooking. On Friday, here I am. I bought three big Costco packs of Hamburg, separating them into Ziploc bags, slicing some roast to make steak, making hamburgers for the kids for supper. And here I am, and I'm like, I want to eat raw meat. That's how hungry I am. I just am craving the iron. I'm craving the tastiness. And I told my husband he had to, he had to freaking give the kids their plates because just cooking it, I want to eat it or I had to leave because I was so miserable. Now I am having a hard time. Like I said, I'm taking it day by day. I did cheat. I did cheat on, I think it was on Saturday. No, not Saturday. It would have been Sunday. The kids had sausages. The sausages were like four or five inches big. I did eat a sausage slowly throughout the day. I had sliced it and I just needed that. It was e either I ate a sausage or I ate crap shit. And a sausage was way better than eating crappy stuff. Now I know that I wasn't supposed to. I've been making sure that I've been on track since then. I have been on track since then. It's just very hard. Now our lovely visitor of the month has showed up as well, which is making me even hungrier and moodier and more irritated and cravings. Now because you know you're losing blood, you're also losing iron. I've been taking iron supplements to make sure that I'm not craving that extra iron because that's what I want is meat. Right now, I don't want the crappy stuff. I want the meat. I want, you know, the chicken and the corn and, you know, the salads with dressing with even balsamic vinegar would be nice, but I can't. So I just want to give a heads up to everybody else that will be doing this in the future. It is hard. You do the best that you can. If you cheat, just jump back on the wagon on the next shake. Do not cheat more than you have to because it can fuck up your surgery. I'm sorry my language, but it can. Now, I have seven days left. It is Tuesday. I leave next Tuesday on July 10th to go downtown Toronto for surgery. I'm just wanting the weekend to get here to get over these shakes. The shakes are not bad. That's not what the problem is. It's not that they taste bad. After a while, you get used to it, but you also get sick of it. 
but I just want real food. I know after surgery, I will not be having real food. I know it will be on liquid diets. I know it will be on puree. I know it will be on soft. I know all this, but at least it will have taste. At least it will feel like you're actually eating food and not just drinking it. I tried broth yesterday just to have broth because to have something different, put a little bit of salt and pepper, just eat chicken broth. And I don't like chicken broth unless I'm like super sick. And if I could have at least put crackers in it, it would have been better. But I could not put crackers in it. I had maybe a half a cup of broth and I want to throw up because I didn't like the taste. Plus, who's going to eat freaking broth at like 42 degrees? So it has been hard. And I am sorry to my family members and my friends that I've been a bitch to. That's why I've been staying away. But, I mean, there is a silver lining at the end. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I am a week away. After next week, I'll be able to eat cottage cheese again, which I'm so excited, and Greek yogurt, and eggs eventually in three weeks, and I'm looking forward to real food, and not shakes and greens. I'll eat my greens anytime. If I could have had spinach in there, I would have been happy with spinach too, and broccoli. Why couldn't we have broccoli? I read other people that were on the same diet, and everybody's got different doctors and different mythologies, and some people were able to have two, three ounces of lean protein. So I know it all matters on your body composition, and on your test results, and how much you weigh, and I know I'm on the lower part of the spectrum for this surgery, so that's probably why I only have the two weeks and I'm limited to this because the surgeon does not operate on your mind he only operates on your stomach and that's what I keep telling myself and the whole reason why we're going through this is because you need to tell your mind that no you can't have that and no you're not supposed to eat this and I've been able to do that in life not all the time but as much as I could and right now I'm doing it and it's freaking hard even my husband yesterday I'm like what are you making for supper he never makes supper and he's like, well, I don't know. What do you feel like eating? And I just gave him the eyes. Like, oh, shit, I forgot. Forgot you're not supposed to eat. And he actually almost cried for me. He's like, I don't understand how you're doing this. He's like, like I would not be able to have the courage and the willpower to not eat. And I started bawling. I said, there's a reason why I'm doing it. I'm going to be skinny when I'm done. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be healthy. And... Yeah, that's what I keep telling myself. That, you know what? Yeah, I'm hungry right now, but it's okay because, you know what? If I don't eat right now and I do what I'm supposed to do so I can have my surgery date, after that I'll be able to eat again. Slowly but surely, enjoy the things that I like when I can. But there's a reason why I am what I'm doing right now. And that's what I'm going to keep telling myself every day. Seven more days on this. Seven more days until surgery. That's all I got to say. Now, that's been a seven minute video. I am so sorry, but until next time, I will probably make a video morning of surgery or we will see. Time is coming, TikTok, excited. I'm in the next sting phase of the surgery, I guess. I am organizing everything, cleaning everything, meal prepping for the kids, all that stuff. All that fun mommy work life stuff. And yeah, so now I'm gonna enjoy my shake. I just have my cup of cucumbers and that was my supper tonight. Thanks for watching.